Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. So today is just another quick and short video about the H710 Mini. If you recall uh, from one of my videos way back when I first figured out how to flash these H710 Minis to IT mode, I told you that uh, there were two types of H710s. There was a older Rev B, uh, B0 I think, that only supported PCIe 2.0 and there was the newer uh, Rev D1 that supports the PCI 3.0. And anyway, you know, I told you guys that if you're doing this type of stuff and you're trying to flash this by yourself, you need to figure out what the revision of your chipset is in order to uh, know what firmware you can flash because trying to flash um, the wrong firmware onto the wrong uh, chipset is going to cause a lot of problems, which is what I struggled with for a long time until I figured out that difference and so up until now I've basically so I have all this automated my, in my farm uh, server farm where I do all the flashing uh, all this is automated I have a program that you know you reads this stuff and figures out what firmware to flash and, and that kind of stuff but uh, as part of that process it checks the revision and the normal way I check the revision of these chipsets is using the Mega CLI tool and so I'll, I'm going to show you right now I have a H710 card that's um, the part number indicates that it supports uh, PCIe 3.0 and it should have a revision D1 chipset but um, they were bombing out in in the flashing machine and so I had to investigate why and found out a little bit about this so I wanted to share it with you guys but if you take a look here, so I'm running the Mega CLI um, ADP all info command to show uh, the information on this card. This is pre-flashed, so I haven't touched it yet. Um, but you'll notice down here, chip revision NA not available, right? So this was uh, causing my automated uh, flashing process to, to break. And yeah, I struggled with this for a little bit, uh, finally figured out uh, what was going on here, but basically if you look at the firmware version here, this is the Dell uh, Perk 7 uh, 10 firmware. Uh, this is 21.0.2. So what I've found that is there anything before 21.1, uh, it seems that the firmware doesn't allow the Mega CLI tool to read out the chip revision. So this firmware has to be updated uh, in order for you to be able to see the chip revision. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so I already downloaded the Dell firmware update for this H710 Mini, and this has a version 21.3.5-0002, so this should do the trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right now. Uh, I'm running the dash Q, uh, that's the quiet option, so it's not gonna prompt me to you know, confirm whether I want to do this or not, it's just gonna go do it, and dash R is reboot, so after uh, the firmware is done flashing, it's going to autom automatically reboot and then we'll log in again and I'll show you that you can actually see the chip revision then. All right. All right, so right now you, you'll see that the firmware has been updated to 21.3.5. So we'll let the machine continue to boot up and log in uh, at the command prompt and I'll show you that um, we can indeed see the firm, uh, chip revision. All right, so I'll log in here and now we'll take a look at the chip revision and you'll see that it is in fact a revision D1 chipset. So, uh, so that's it guys. Uh, if you are doing this type of stuff and you run into uh, a card that has no chipset revision, update the Dell firmware and that will show up. So, alright, just wanted to share that little piece of information that I just discovered with you guys. Alright guys, well that's it for today. Uh, if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. Alright, bye bye.